What's up guys, Greg here with Lens Pro to Go and welcome back to day six and our last day checking out the Schneider Cine Xenar 3s. Today we're gonna be looking at the most telephoto lens in the lineup and that's the 95 millimeter. We're gonna be running it through the same four tests. So starting off with flaring, then breathing, bokeh, and lastly edge distortion and sharpness. I hope you guys enjoy this test. So let's get right into the first one looking at the flaring of the 95 millimeter Cine Xenar 3. Just like the 75 millimeter lens, this one has almost no flaring, just the glow from the source itself. Occasionally in the corners, you might get some teal or red flare, but it's very soft and not very visible. So I'll just let this play out as we pan around so you can see how it looks. With the light outside the frame, you see even less of this effect, basically just the glow from the source, but no reflections or blooming flares. This breathing test isn't the greatest. I noticed afterwards when I was in post how much the lens was shaking from pulling focus on the barrel, but you'll just have to trust me in saying that there is no breathing on this lens. All the movement in the shot was from me bumping the lens. Next test is for the bokeh, and we move the chart back nine feet, six inches for this one. And we're gonna go through the aperture range of T2.0 down to the T22. Wide open with this lens, you start to see some sharp points in the bokeh, and it's no longer smooth and rounded edges like with the previous lenses. You also don't get that swirling effect like we saw with the 75 millimeter in the video yesterday. If you do close down slightly, those points will disappear and you'll have that awesome, super round and super smooth bokeh in the background. As always, the last thing to test is the edge distortion and sharpness. Keeping with the 50 and 75, it stays tack sharp across the whole frame, and you get some more compression just being a longer focal length and squishing the foreground and background together. And that'll do it for the Schneider 95 millimeter Cine Xenar 3. If you guys want to try out this lens for yourself or learn more information about it, make sure to head on over to lensprotogo.com. I'll throw a link to it in the description below. If you guys are enjoying this series, which I am enjoying putting out for you guys and creating, make sure to give a like. Also subscribe for new videos every week and I'll see you in the next one.